Scotland's new health secretary says he is absolutely committed to introducing buffer zones around abortion clinics in Scotland. Michael Matheson was speaking after more than 100 pro-life campaigners gathered outside the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital in Glasgow yesterday. Selena Jackson has this special report. This was the scene outside the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital. Pro-life campaigners have gathered here every day for 40 days since February to take part in what they call prayer vigils. Before leaving office, previous First Minister Nicola Sturgeon said the Scottish Government would back Green MSP Gillian Mackay's bill to introduce exclusion zones outside the facilities. Women have the right to access abortion without fear or intimidation. To that end, let me say again to anyone wanting to protest against abortion, do it outside Parliament. Protesting outside hospitals or sexual health clinics targets women, not lawmakers, and it causes stress and anxiety to those accessing health care. That, in my view, is deeply wrong. To look to this death clinic. Today, her successor and the new health secretary repeated that promise. It is not acceptable if you want to protest anywhere. You should be protesting outside of the Scottish Parliament or Butte House or wherever else. But uh, where women are going uh, to get an abortion, it can be one of the most traumatic days of their lives. They don't need uh, to be faced with that type of protest. So I'll, I'm going to be having an early discussion with Gillian Mackay. What we want to do is to make sure that that bill can be introduced into Parliament as quickly as possible. And what we're doing is working with Gillian Mackay to make sure that happens. That would allow us to put in place the legislation that's necessary to prevent the types of scenes that we saw at the weekend uh, being repeated. But I'm very clear as Health Secretary, uh, what I saw at the weekend is unacceptable and we need to make sure that this comes to an end. But there's still no timescale for doing that. At the time when we'd started calling for these um, for these buffer zones, you know, we, we'd have been the first in, in the UK. But actually, we're falling far behind. We've been doing this for almost three years and I have never heard of somebody that has been uh, helped by, by any of, of these groups. Uh, I've never once heard of somebody that uh, has had a positive experience with them. Uh, I can only speak to the hundreds and hundreds of accounts that I've heard. Pro-life activists claim the demonstrations are entirely peaceful. We want to make sure that we're keeping a free and open society and making sure that these buffer zones don't go so as far uh, and be so disproportionate as to take out perfectly legal, legal and good activities like prayer and charitable offers of help. Let women help, let volunteers help uh, and keep those choices open for women. As the row rages on, buffer zone campaigners have posted pro-choice slogans on the fence outside the Queen Elizabeth, saying they're trying to create a safe space of sorts for women.